little tarantula, a little baby. Let's see if we can get them to go up hand. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you got a little defensive there. <laughs> oh, he's a baby. Welcome back, guys. Let's talk about animals. What type of animals could you expect to see on the trail? Are any of these animals going to be a nuisance for, for me? Are they going to eat my food? Are they going to attack me? All that good questions we're going to go through right now. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video so I can talk about the problematic animals and how to protect your food and your gear from those animals. All right, so animals you could expect to see on trail. We have all types of deer here in Arizona, including the white-tailed deer, um, the seca deer, the mule deer, which is very stinky deer. You'll definitely run into them at the Grand Canyon and lower-lying desert places of Arizona. We also have elk going up towards the um, south rim of the Grand Canyon. There's a lot of elk up there. Javelina, jackrabbits, cottontail rabbits, coyotes. Uh, too many birds to, to mention, but some of my favorites are the great horned owl uh, or any of the hummingbirds. Lizards, um, also way too many to list, but um, favorites, whiptail um, for sure. Horn toads, um, gopher snakes, garter snakes. Um, and those are the animals that you should really expect to see on trail. Now, there's a lot of animals in Arizona. Um, and, you know, if you hike enough miles, you will eventually run into um, a lot more animals. If you're hiking at night, 100% you're you're going to increase your your animal viewage and that's mainly because um you know that it's hot in the daytime and the desert comes alive at night so everything is active in the nighttime um so your probability of seeing animals in the nighttime is severely increased when hiking at night um animals that you probably won't see though could see um and some of them could be lucky or unlucky depending on um your fear of some of these animals um so animals that you know you shouldn't expect to see um would include um rattlesnakes um coral snake um turkeys bison that's on the north rim of the grand canyon you can find bison um bobcats um coates you know, those are lower elevation animals similar to the ringtail. They come from Central America. They're like little ant eater. They're really beautiful, cool looking animals. Um, bears, we do have bears. Um, there are bears in Arizona. They're, they're normally in the higher elevations. Um, so you could find them at the beginning of the trail. Um, that is a place where there is activity of bears. Um, anywhere near and above... Um, Pine, Arizona. Um, you could expect to see bears around Flagstaff and Snowbowl. I know there's an active bear in that area. Um, you know, they're out there. Are you going to run into them? You know, 90% chance no. Um, there is a small chance that you could run into them. I don't think you need to carry any protection for those um, bears. I don't think you need an. an um, an ursac or a bear canister. I think that's complete overkill. I just slept with my food um, and had no problems. Um, but I have heard of people seeing bears. So, you know, depending how fortunate or unfortunate you are. Um, gray fox. Uh, you can see gray fox from time to time. Pronghorns. Um, it's a type of antelope, high desert antelope. Scorpions. You probably won't see any scorpions unless you are looking for them. Uh, ringtails. Uh, you're probably not going to see any ringtails unless you're camping in the Grand Canyon down at the um, 
Bright Angel Campground, the reason that they have bear boxes at all the campgrounds in the canyon are mainly for ringtails, um, but also for ravens because the ravens are pretty smart animals and will go through your belongings. Um, Desert Tortoise, man, I've been wanting to see one of them for a long time, but I have not seen one. Um, Desert Frogs. Um, Bighorn sheep, you know, you have potential of seeing bighorn sheep in a lot of the low-lying parts of the trail, especially in the Grand Canyon. There is a desert variant of the bighorn sheep, which is really cool. Um, yeah, and so those are some of the uh, the animals that you could potentially see. Um, the very rare, hard to see, you are lucky as all can be animals to see, would be the Gila monster, which is um, it's a venomous lizard. And, um, they're extremely rare. Um, you just don't see them that often. Um, I have personally never seen one. I have one photo in this reel that is not my photo. Um, every other photo in here pretty much is my photo. Um, the pink rattlesnake only found in the Grand Canyon. Um, that is very rare. You can talk to some Grand Canyon National Park people that have worked there for 15 years and have never seen one. I have seen a couple of them. Very fortunate to see a couple of them. And then the last one is uh, mountain lion. Um, you know, they probably see you, um, but chances of you seeing them are very minimal. There was an active mountain lion that was near Tucson and Suoro National Park at one of the campgrounds in that national park. Um, and it was in a tree, it, you know, I'm sure there was a reason it was in the tree. Um, you know, if you see them, stay clear, pretty much is the uh, point of that. Um, so animals to be worried about. So what animals um, do you need to be worried about on the Arizona Trail, if any? Um, so like I said, there is a small possibility that you can see bears. I don't think you need to have any type of food protection for that. But some of the other animals that I would want to protect from would be um, desert rats or kangaroo mice. Um, they are, they're ruthless, you know. Um, it's dry out there. There's not much food options. Um, so, you know, they will they will search for it and they will find it. I cowboy camp. I've never had a problem with any animals coming across me. Um, and I generally just take my backpack and I hang it in a bush or in a tree or in some shrub to get it off the ground to make it harder for the kangaroo mice or the desert rats to get into it. Um, you know, so those are some animals that could eat your food. So you don't want to protect from that. A small rodent hang will suffice. Um, however you want to do it, just don't leave your bag on the ground. Um, in the Grand Canyon, you have to worry about ringtails. Um, these are little cute, fuzzy little animals and they're very smart and they will go through everything, whether you eat it, leave it open or not, they will go through everything. And they tell you in the Grand Canyon just to leave all the pockets open for that reason so that they're not biting through it and chewing through your very expensive backpack. Um, you know, so that's something to consider. Um, and like I said, that's why they have the bear boxes in the canyon is for the ring tail. So I guess my trail's a bit going to be cut short today. Those are wild bison. Looks to be a big herd of them. Don't want to get anywhere near them things. Crazy, man. I was wondering if I was going to see them. I saw a lot of footprints and shit. And now, there they are. The last animal, or insect, I should say, that I want to talk about that will aggravate you and get into your food are ants. Um, we have ants everywhere in desert, in the desert here in Arizona. And, um, you know, you don't want to camp on them. Um, and you definitely don't want to step on them and you definitely don't want them getting into your, your food kit. So, um, you know, like I said, hanging, doing a rodent hang would prevent from, prevent that from happening. Um, you know, throwing it in a bush, just getting it off the ground will be very advantageous for you. Um, at the end of the day, hike your own hike. If you want to bring bear protection, go for it. Um, it's up to you. I'm, I've never carried it, but if it makes you comfortable and it makes you uh, sleep better at night, then please go ahead and do that. Um, 
that's the end of this video for today. And uh, if you end up liking this uh, content, please slap a like. And if you're interested in more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I uh, hope to see you guys on trail. See you later. Well, I'm tired. I think I'm gonna go home now.